Hi, all. Welcome to the Boomcast new show. Mm-hmm. The new thing we're starting up. Um, but there's a new layout and everything. Um, we're just gonna go over our top five top five news things uh, of the week, and then we'll discuss what is our favorite stuff. Um, shall we get started, Jake and Tyler? Da. Da. Um, before Tyler falls asleep. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those days, huh? After he just chugged coffee. <laughs> that, you're right. I didn't chug coffee. I took like two sips of it. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, let's start off. Uh, with Ezra Miller is finally fired from future DC product uh, projects. Uh, the Flash movie yes. right now is kind of unknown. What's going to happen with? So, are you guys are you guys familiar with like all that's been going on with yeah. Ezra Miller? I know yeah. he messed up. I don't know what. He, he uh, got in like a bar fight or something, Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, and then he got another one after he got in trouble for that one. So he's just he's a tool, uh, just straightforward. I don't like him. So knowing that he's gone like, makes it so sweet. Like, okay, can we can we? get a little bit more context in that because when I hear bar fight that doesn't seem like a douchey thing unless he started bar fight I'm pretty and sure then started second bar fight I'm pretty sure he's been like a diva or something uh Tyler you're looking it up yeah I'm gonna look it up say because if because like being in a bar fight doesn't necessarily make me not like it. but yeah. you starting a bar fight to start a bar fight makes me not like it. Pretty sure he like assaulted a couple people is the thing. Um, not so much like a, oh fight, so, you know. Mm-hmm. Here's, let's see. The Flash Star deleted his Instagram account, uh, because he's experiencing legal issues in Hawaii, Massachusetts, and North Dakota. Include the accusations of violence, psychological intimidation, and other forms of misconduct. Um, according to Instagram, representatives confirmed the account was disabled this week. This just happening after days. North Dakota Tribal Court issued a protective order against Miller due to allegations that Miller groomed an 18 year old beginning at the age of 12. So there's more. Okay. Uh- that is <laughs> sexual assault. Salt mm-hmm. and um, so had the failure. Yeah, <laughs> that one. Um, let's see. Long story short, he's a jerk. And uh, reports say they had two interacted several times over the past six years, including her parents allowing them to fly to London with Miller for the Fantastic Beast premiere in 2017. <laughs> Uh, during this event, Miller allegedly tried to share a bed with a 14-year-old before beginning being stopped by a chaperone. <laughs> and then there's the How bar fight. How old was fights. he at the time? Uh, 20-something right now. Yeah, he's Let's see. older. Yeah, that's... Uh, that was in 2017, that. right? Now, that's in... North Dakota, I think that one is, and it says in Massachusetts, the Daily Beast reports that a 12 year old non binary child was granted an order of protection against Miller. The court incident apparently unfolded at a game night in February at a home in Massachusetts, which is about 40 miles from Miller's ranch in Vermont. The social gathering was hosted by a friend and a musician Miller is friends with. Miller allegedly wearing a bulletproof vest. When a conversation about a board game went awry, Miller apparently opened their jacket to reveal a gun. Witness say Miller screamed at them and later apologized for the outburst. What the crap? He was unstable. Says, yeah, so he was 24 when he tried to lay in the bed with a four. Ten years older. That's uh, not the ideal age difference, that's for sure. Yeah. That's Ooh. a no no. Yeah. That's an okay age difference when you're 50 mm-hmm. and they are 40. Yep. <laughs> you know, when they're like adults. So uh, not yeah. only was there some bar fights, but he was trying to sex up little kids. Ugh. That's gross. 
I'm, yeah, just, don't mess with so. kids. Let just just don't. Um, I guess especially not my kids, because I'll kill you. So I mean, we're not gonna get political or anything, but I'm not for like cancel culture, but I kind of agree with DC on this. One. I so, kind of is, agree. This one's acceptable. This is where it becomes a crime, and then it's like, okay, you can get rid of them. That, that same makes with, sense. Same with like. Oh, another one that's acceptable is getting rid of Amber Heard. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Or There's different things. V- very different things, but yes, they both are interesting. Honest, I mean, I'm not going to get into it, but I honestly, I'm not for the cancel culture for, oh, cancel culture for uh, Amber Heard. I don't care. I, I just don't I... Care. I agree much more with the cancel culture for Ezra. Oh, 100%. Yeah. That um, guy literally almost touched him under it. And I, he most likely did. I think where where I where my mind goes for that is once it's like a crime, then it's like, okay, let's get rid of this person. You know? If it's but, like, just like, oh, I don't like that person. They said something offensive. Like... Amber Heard is a but Amber Heard is a, but Amber Amber Heard is is a liar. A it's still Amber Heard. Amber Heard is a liar, and Amber Heard said some things that are not true. However, I lying is not a crime unless you're under oath. Which she was <laughs> in a Anywho. civil trial, bro. Yeah. It's different than a criminal trial. She said some pretty dumb things. She's trying to say Johnny Depp. Made you can say he had hands all for the scissors. Stuff. You, okay, <laughs> there are there are people that. Okay, I'm not gonna get political. I'm not gonna get political. All I'm gonna say is there are people who say dumb stuff all the time, but you have a unfortunately have the right to say whatever you want for the most part. Because yeah, there no are some way. people who say some real ignorant crap. Oh yeah, for sure. But since he got kicked out of his movies. And for, she's getting kicked out of hers, which is what she. Well, should. yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. But originally she wasn't. But now that she is, now it's all that's said and fine. After that, if she's in other movies, then whatever. But like, she should have been kicked out sooner than what they did. Nobody's disagreeing with that. I'm just saying we shouldn't cancel her out altogether from everything. More than we should cancel Ezra Miller out because what he did is far worse. Anyways, no, his is next far bit worse. of news. It is decided. It is decided. Um, uh, Kevin Feige talks about the future of the MCU. um, And he said, uh, as we're nearing the end of Phase 4, I think people will start to see where this next saga will be going. Um, So I think uh, this is is great. I feel like that's the problem with Phase 4 so far, is there's been some good movies for Phase 4, but... um, there's no like <laughs> universe uh gigantic thing, you know. Phase four has felt much more lighthearted. A little bit. Oh, except for Doctor Strange, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I also have not seen that yet because it's been spoiled to me and I still need see to... it. I'm going to, I just need to build up the wherewithal. Um oh, what happened to Tyler? Nothing. We've added a tomato. Anthony, no. No, Anthony. No, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Um. That's where we are. Uh, Kevin Feige. Um. I'm interested to see where this goes. Um. And I think it's going to start turning around with like how. Good the movies are. I feel like they've been okay so far, but if we can get like a an actual like Avengers type of event, hey hey, Shang Chi, good. I liked it. Um. Okay. Now we're not talking about crime for like eight minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see here. Uh, this is more for Jake. Um, and it, it's whatever for me, but. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris will be in Doctor Who, the 60th anniversary. He is. Nice. I just 
today because I was sitting at home waiting for the dog to be done with haircut. I started the first episode of season one, which is called Rose. <laughs> yeah. Did you like it? It was like it wasn't bad. What I would say is, like it was, you have to mentally. It was okay. It wasn't like terrible. Like it's not like I was like, uh, this sucks. But like, it wasn't like wow, amazing. It was just like, eh. you have to get to Tenet before you can judge. So the 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 next guy who plays the doctor. I mean, like I can continue watching it from what I've seen from the first episode. <laughs> like you're saying, no, but like it's weird. I feel like, the same way about Viking. But Take it was just back. like not it until you like, watch an episode. Wasn't anything crazy, but it was just like, uh, I could watch this. I hope it gets better. That's all. Like I it does. Say. It gets so. Better. Wait till episode two. <laughs> episode two is extremely weird. Moisturize me. <laughs> <laughs> the first episode's already weird with like the rubber people. I was like, this is Bro. weird. <laughs> and then the trash true. can, it's the trash can ate somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, garbage day. Garbage day. Um, next bit of news. Uh, uh da, 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 nice. Fourth bit of news. Um, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two, aka Final Fantasy Rebirth, will be released next winter, twenty twenty three. Um, and Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Remake, I don't know what that what difference is there. Um, will be coming this winter. Tyler, is this a, a good bit of news for you? E- yes. I mean, obviously, it's cool that it's gonna be three parts final fantasy 7 and like that game is literally final fantasy like is staples final fantasy 7 because everybody loves seth roth like mm. and then they came out with like the movie from like 2004 or like three whatever it came out been children uh, yeah that movie's so good it even though good. it's like like the animation, like compared to what they could do today, is like poor. But that movie is still so good. And when you first see Seth Ruff, like appear in there, and he's like, "Hello, Cloud," and it's just like the music of Seth Ruff's main theme starts playing, and he's just like flying towards Cloud. He's like, shh, shh, shh. and I'm like, "Oh yes, <laughs> I love it so much." So yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. Oh, oh. Um, I love Final Fantasy VII. I played that a bunch as a kid, uh, but uh, I don't have a PlayStation. And I know I know it's coming to PC eventually. I don't know when. Uh, actually, no. I think it's already out, right? On Epic Games, I think. Um, yeah. But, yeah. I'm going to wait for more to come out, because I don't want to play it and then wait and then play it. And, and then, then have to wait. Yeah. Um, but I'm excited either way. Um, and then, let's, uh, you know what, Jake, one or two? Two. Yeah, good choice, good choice. Um, a Guy Ritchie live-action Hercules movie is in development. What do we think about this? Have you guys liked, uh... The live action movies at all? No. Tyler says that about every live action movie that comes from an animated series ever. <laughs> so that's because they're not good. Your opinion is invalid. No, it's not because they're not good. Some of them are okay. You, they're not the worst thing in the world. Like you, like you make it seem. Like, granted, Aladdin was not great, but. It still had at least had moments, like um, it had okay scenes, but overall, it was same with Mulan. I haven't seen Mulan yet. I haven't I either. I heard um, it's pretty good. The only one I was supremely disappointed in was like, yeah, was what Lion King. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was awful. That was terrible. Um. But overall, uh, I'm 
I don't want to say I'm excited because to an extent, Tyler is right. There's not been one that's been made that has been like, ooh, that was freaking awesome. You know what I mean? Um, but I think if there's one that has a chance, it might be Hercules just because Hercules was an excellent movie. And it's based off something that I think is doable to make live action. Yeah, but it kind of depends on how they're going to animate, like, the creatures. Like, mm. yeah. Specifically, like, the Hydra with all the heads and stuff. You know, it's going to be like full the... CGI's, like, and I would, the men. And, abs- and I would absolutely go easy on the music. Mm. Yeah, for real. Like, I would make it much more serious toned. Um, you know, you can have like the comic relief. I would almost make it like an MCU movie, is yeah. what I would do. Um, I'm looking forward to this one because a couple of reasons. Um, one, Guy Ritchie is he's a f- fantastic director. He really is. Um, and it kind of ties into my number two, which is Jason Statham is in like all of his movies, a big chunk of them. Perhaps he'll play Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a chance. But no, the Rock he might be again. in it. The Rock as Hercules. Oh God. Um, he was if they went Hercules. super super serious. He would make a really cool Haiti. Mm. At least from the action part. Yeah. From from the action part. Acting, we'll see. <laughs> um, um. But yeah, so I'll watch it depending on what the trailer looks like. Um, and also to your point, Jake, you're going to say there hasn't really been too many good ones. Um, and the movie that would be perfect for a live action, uh, remake, and I hope they do it, which I don't really see it being made though, though, unfortunately, one of my favorite Disney movies, Antis. I feel like that would be fantastic. That would be an awesome movie. Yeah. That would be good. I um, love Atlanta. Mm-hmm. As well as, uh, what is it called? Titan AE or whatever? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that or one. Treasure or Planet. Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet. Yeah. Treasure yeah. Planet's the one I was looking for. Yeah. Treasure Planet. That Those was all awesome good action. Mm-hmm. I agree. I feel like uh, end, I feel like probably like the, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean kind of. I was say the end space. of Treasure Planet always gets. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know. Dude, those are fantastic movies, and that was like the golden age of like animation. Right? No, that's what I saw a photo where it was like. Disney had something going for it, and then they're like, "What happened?" And with the Prince of Egypt too, yeah, it was like, like dude, because they were so good. The animation, mm-hmm. like the style, was like really good, and then all of a sudden it just disappeared, and then turned into something they went, else. They went back to the musical route, man. Yeah. What um, I will say is, there are some that are, are really like Encanto has an amazing sound, mm-hmm. amazing, soundtrack. but they've been more missed than hit for me as far as their musical style. They're like. Like they were making movies, the golden like era where they had all that animation. They weren't really targeted for kids. It was like more like teens and adults, like yeah. young adults. Like, but those movies were so good. And then they Smart. went back to just like targeting like little kids with like musicals and making it look pretty and stuff. And I'm like, no, you should have kept going. <laughs> Actually, Frozen Jake- ruined everything. <laughs> Um, that actually uh, brings us back to uh, the Boomcast we just did about top 10 Pixar films. And we were talking about, um, you know, our favorite anime films. Atlantis would be probably right behind Toy Story for me. I loved it that much. Um, I thought you said anime like, films for a second. I was like, that is not anime. So. Oh, it's super anime. <laughs> uh, El Dorado. So that's the news. El Dorado is good. It is. It is. So it is good. Bro. Oh, my God. Live action, bro. Um. <laughs> Uh, Jake, start us off. What was your favorite bit of news this week? Well, I'm torn between. T- I like I liked um, the fact that we're gonna see more uh, from you know more of the big picture for the MCU. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, I had to give it to my boy MPH joining the Doctor Who family. Man, you had it right on for me. <laughs> um, as even though I have not even quite made it through um, Capaldi yet, I have to catch up quite a bit. Um, Doctor Who will always hold a special place in my heart, just for the for the two 
uh, primary doctors that I loved, which are uh, Tennant and Smith. Um, and adding an actor with as, uh, as high a caliber as MPH, I think is really even going to get, and, and it's already invaded the U.S., but it could even get a more solid fan base in the U.S. by adding an actor like that. And he's just probably going to be awesome anyway. So, yeah. Um, I hope somehow he becomes a permanent character. That'd be Which interesting. Would be I might watch it then. Uh, but probably not. Probably not. Uh, I'll watch it, Jake. Mr. Tyler. Thanks. What was your favorite little bit? My favorite. Honestly, it's probably uh, Ezra Miller getting cut out. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves what he gets. I mean, it's just justice. And honestly, I didn't like him. Like when I saw the Justice League movie, when him as the Flash, I didn't like how, didn't like the direction they took it with like how the suit looked and everything. I thought it was just DC doesn't do a good job with like their movies and stuff like that. No offense to them, like. They just need to hire better people. I don't know what they're trying to do over there. But the suit didn't look good to me. It's like mechanical looking and stuff. I'm like, eh, I'm not really going for that. And I just don't, just didn't really ever like him. Like, him in the Fantastic Beast movies, like, to me, like, in the second movie, one of the worst parts and scenes for me is, like, the ending when he's, like, standing there and he's, like, does like that weird thing with his hand and like the mm-hmm. one like yeah i'm like that just ruins the movie for me i'm like i hate it but no yeah that's probably my favorite i'm like he gets what he deserves you get what you deserve um and uh yeah my little bit uh probably deep Ooh, good stuff probably the marvel marvel because i feel like that is uh the most important to me i don't know the other stuff i i don't really care about too much uh-huh. i mean yeah in the long run the marvel one to me is more important but out of the five like that ezra miller is just like getting what he deserves <laughs> <laughs> but the one that i'm most like int- worried and intrigued about is definitely where marvel is heading yeah i think we can all agree overall that's number one but you know certain things to certain it, yeah, to certain individuals here is more important. The, all the news has been good, but uh, it just doesn't really affect me as much as that one. Yes, exactly. Um, uh, thank you so much for watching. We do appreciate it. That was the news for this week. Um, news, 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 news. Big news. Like it, Jake. You keep that going. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we'll be back next week with some more news. News, news. Mm.